The thumbnail for this video was drawn by the great Tomislav, who also designed the Geekdom 101 t-shirts, which, by the way, are still available over at teespring.com slash geekdom101. I'll leave links to that down below as well as a link to Tomislav. He will do art for you if you ask him. Great dude, so check him out. So let's talk about what I am now thinking. I'm I'm going to say about 90%, okay? And I have pretty good intuition when it comes to Dragon Ball Super. Been watching this, you know, Dragon Ball series since 94. I have a lot of intuition about where they might be going in the future. And I don't mean the next arc, but I mean a possible arc even further down the road. Whenever they decide to do it, I think that now, after watching Super episodes 112, and even some stuff after 112 that's been talked about when it comes to Goku, Khalifa, and Kale and their relationship... When you focus in on the Vegeta Kaba relationship and what Vegeta specifically said to Kaba, where he said, Don't forget, you promised me you'd take me to Planet Sadala to meet your king. I'm now, again, 85, 90% sure that at some point in Dragon Ball Super, we're going to get an arc that is going to take place in Universe 6 on Planet Sadala. I think we are going to get the Planet Sadala arc. I was wondering what they were going to do because. We saw Kaba and Vegeta talk about this in the Universe 6 tournament, and we thought it was going to be, at least I thought it was going to be just a throwaway freaking you know line. It wasn't going to mean anything. But now that they repeated it again, I'm thinking, okay, that to me means that the Super Riders or, and or Toriyama are really trying to plant the seed in our heads that we're going to see a Planet Sadala arc storyline at some point in Super, whether it be a small like three-episode storyline or whether it be a huge um you know huge arc it could be a small mini arc could be a big arc we'll see joining me to talk about the potential of this arc and what could it could not happen please welcome he was here recently talking about hit now he's back talking more about universe six tr4 g1c tragic what's up bro how we doing today man i'm good glad, man glad i'm not i'm not the one who's playing wacky will of fortune with his name though bro that's you <laughs> Well, actually, you made me even feel older because you said 94, and I've been reading this series, like, way before that, so I feel, like, really, really old right now. You oh, were reading you. the manga before 94. I yeah, was going to say, I don't even yeah, think there was a Viz version. Yeah, well, yeah, Japan, we they already had a lot of stuff out. We were getting into VH before it even went on syndication, which is weird. But yeah. that's well that's more like the <laughs> anime but yeah, that's yeah. all good let's talk about what's going on now though again do, how do you feel about what i said how do you feel about the little hints that super's given us about this Sadal arc or at least again we don't know if it's gonna be three episodes 12 episodes 20 episodes 100 episodes but they have to go there now right we we well we've kind of been like the first take i mean every time we've done one of these videos we've kind of been like the first take you know the, the stephen a smith skip bayless situation agree, oh disagree boy. situation and we I, need I, a hot girl to host it though that's yeah what we need. yeah yeah that's all we need I, and I, I wanted to give a shout out to all everybody that's on your twitter my twitter that's definitely you know have been commenting that um but this time i'm, I'm gonna have to agree with you i i, I really feel like this time around they have been kind of nailing it home and, and almost kind of reminding us like hey you know this is going to happen whether it like you said whether it's something that's going to happen in the near future um you know they have hinted that they were going to do the storyline you know beyond z um maybe the arcs uh, after that or maybe before that we still don't know but they're definitely nailing it home for sure no and and the thing is i know some folks are wondering okay well you know what? Uh, what's what's it gonna matter if Goku's gonna end up probably getting Ultra Instinct mastered? He's probably gonna want to focus more on Jiren during and after this arc. What's it gonna matter? And my answer to that is, I don't even think Goku's even necessarily needed for this arc if they do it. And I know that having Goku not involved in an arc is blasphemy to some people, but if they're gonna have Vegeta go with Kaba to Universe Six and meet. Khalifa's family, Renzo, all those guys, and meet the potential king. You know, I don't even think Goku's even needed for that arc. It could be a Vegeta solo story. Will Super be ambitious enough to do that? Well, we'll see. But Vegeta bringing along Kakarot might be an interesting story. Or maybe even bringing along Trunks, who is, of course, a kid. Maybe he wants to give Trunks more training or something there. And then, of course, there is the big mystery of Tarbul and where he's at. But that's a video for another day. Mm -hmm. What storylines do you think they could potentially do 
without going into too many specific, explicit details, what kind of storyline do, do you think they could do with Vegeta, Kaba, and Planet Sadal? Like, beyond just Vegeta going there and meeting the king and saying, hey, I used to be the king once, what else do you think they could do here? Well, um, you know, before before that, I, I definitely want to say, and I, and I did tell you that there's a there was a part in episode 112 that actually stuck out to me a lot. And I think they can definitely develop it into into a lot of different things because when the conversation between Vegeta and Goku kind of happened, um, you know, uh, about Kaba losing and all this other stuff and Vegeta saying the Saiyans are going to live, it was more like he was not just saying the Saiyans of Universe 6, you know, and that's kind of how I took it. That's how I took it personally. I mean, it could you could just be talking about th that situation, but it, it seems like it was more. It was more of an intent. And and also the fact that Goku would even ask about Kaba to me is like, right, okay, well, he right. knows like, there's why? something. Yeah. You know, yeah. like, so, you know, that was a that was a little interesting development. And personally, I think it would be good, like, because honestly, and I don't see nothing wrong with them actually doing just like a straight Vegeta follow storyline. You know, obviously, the, a lot of the movies, if you look at a lot of the Dragon Ball movies over the years, have always had Goku at the forefront of the story. And always. then Vegeta would be the guy that you're like, hey, you know, you know, you're not doing this unless I'm doing it. You know, he's kind of like the savior or whatever it is, even though, you know, he gets his butt whooped, too. But he, he's been the savior for the situations. It, it seems like a lot. I can see them reverse that role in the animation uh, anime part like. I can see have them Goku, actually do yeah. that, you know, like Goku pops up out of nowhere or, or, you know, have invited him, you know, or where he's training, you know, he can just pop up out of nowhere. I can see that definitely happening. And I do see more of the development of the Kaba, F uh, Fujita, you know, the actual storyline. That master Saiyans. student relationship. Right. I can right? see yeah. that. I could definitely see that more. Another thing that definitely does stick out in that whole situation is the fact that, you know, Vegeta has always been the Saiyan storyteller. He's been the guy who's told the lore. You know what I mean? And that's it, right. And it, there's a lot of lore he doesn't know. He didn't know right. God. Right. He, didn't, he, he thinks he knows about Berserk. You know, kind of, sorta. Right. There's a lot. He, he, there's a lot of stuff that that maybe he doesn't know. Yeah. Right. And, and and to me, it would be really really cool for them to actually you know you know complete the story like f with him as far as the backstory is concerned maybe he can relate to the current king of what happened in his universe you know so that it never happens again you know those type of situations there's a lot of things that that could definitely work out for sure i would love to see that relationship where he can inform the current king of you know planet sadal like hey this is what happened in my universe this is what <laughs> yeah. we did you know so, and I, now, in this case, it's different because the Saiyans of Universe 6 never went to Planet Plant. They never had the war with the Sephurians, right, the Tuffles. Right. But uh, what I could totally see happening is I would like, and again, this is just me thinking outside the box. Instead of having the traditional Dragon Ball Super arc where mm -hmm. it's Goku and Vegeta fighting, you know, for whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. um, I would like something different. I would personally like it if maybe Frost's family. You know, we're going to say Frost because Frieza has no presence in Universe 6. Frost got erased by Zeno, and you could even make an argument that Frost's family is upset, and they might maybe they find out that Vegeta and somebody from Universe 7 is responsible for this, and this could end up leading to Frost's family coming to Planet Sadal, you know, introducing a whole bunch of new characters and doing like a Saiyan versus... Again, there's no official name for Frieza's race. You know, <laughs> Frieza's clan is the name. Arcosian is not an actual name for them. It's, no, it's, it's not. I did a whole video on it. But having like an army of like frost mutants, frost demons, what they call them in the English Xenoverse, not again, not an official name, against the Saiyans, and having the story be not Vegeta, who's probably going to be really strong at this point, or Goku fighting the fight for them. That's lame. We already saw that with the Trunks arc. Right. Instead, have Goku and Vegeta train the universe six saiyans have you know khalifa kale kaba maybe a couple more new characters renzo maybe two or three more new saiyans have vegeta and and goku train them on how to get more powerful so they can become better equipped to defend the planet against outsiders invaders so in other words the frost family comes in they're in trouble so vegeta and then goku say okay let me show you all how to fight and then it kind of becomes this um it kind of becomes this 
I hate to say this comparison because I'm Cuban, bro, but this Fidel Castro Che Guevara thing where <laughs> <laughs> they're yeah, going to train yeah, the Cubans yeah. on guerrilla warfare. Right, 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 right. right I right. would totally love to see this, man. I, I, would, I would love different. I, I would definitely, and that's why I mean, like, I, I, I want to see, like, the 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 Fajita go over there and, and tell them what they've been through. Obviously, you know, they're going to know for a fact that, you know, Frieza might, you know, uh, Frost got destroyed. I, I dubbed them the Froza clan, the Froza term. Froza actually means cold. I remember cold. you did that. Yeah, it actually means cold, and, and, and it's funny because Frieza and his family, a lot of cold names and stuff like that, and Frost is his name is you know derived from coldness, so um, it's just it would be great if they developed that story f for sure because we we did know that in Universe Seven right that there was a rivalry between those two clans you know um, King Cole specifically has stated like there you know we we need to show them that we are the more dominant clan. And it's yeah, been, well, yeah, been kind of stated like that. So the word you're the word you're looking for is when he said, "I will prove that our family is the most dominant." That's what he said in right, Dragon Ball right, right. E episode. I think it was one nineteen. Yeah. Right, right. Um, but the thing is, they've always kind of puppeteered the saying, so to speak. You know, they've right, always right, kind of right. toyed with them. But that's not going on in Universe Six, even though Frost did try to do it. I still yeah, think that very minimal. It was like a very minimal situation, right? Now, um, the other thing I can think of as far as storylines go is obviously because you have a planet filled with Saiyans, doing the ritual to create the god would be a lot easier. So they could do that to kind of power up somebody. Or they could do a storyline where they do the ritual to, to someone and then that particular Saiyan ends up letting the power get to his head and they have to go fight him. I mean, there's just so many little storylines they could do. A lot do. of storylines, a lot of storylines. What do you think? What's what, in your head? What, what, I have way too many, like way too many. I mean, I, obviously, I got, I got. Will some, you do a video on your channel about it so people can go check that out? Uh, I am gonna do a video on my channel. Hopefully, invite a couple people to kind of have a discussion about it. Um, and we'll try to figure it out. Uh, my plan, you know, when you just said about the God thing, I just see it a little bit different. Um, as far as the God thing is concerned, because maybe what if that doesn't exist there? Obviously, Uzaros don't. You know that. Do Zaro form doesn't exist there, so there has to be, there has to be something benevolent, you know, or, or something extraordinary, out of their own, you know, same. Well, race maybe that it's happens, that berserk. You know? Maybe it's that berserk form that right, Vegeta right. was like, "What is this?" You know. It, yeah, maybe what could end up happening is it could be like a Pokemon thing with the Alola forms where the Universe 7 Saiyans evolve one way, Universe 6 ones evolve a different way. Maybe they have two different forms, transformations that are similar, but they're different. I don't know. One, one, one turns into monkeys, the other one turns into Godzilla. We're going to have the King Kong. I'd be okay with that. That'd be I'd a be, great fight. I, yeah, I would be. I, I'd be. I definitely would be okay with that. You know, dragons versus a, a killer ape. Yeah, I would definitely be cool with that. Um, but in, in, in reality, I, I think there's just a lot to definitely, there is a lot they can definitely do. Obviously you, you've made videos previously before that, you know, they have a long story arc that they could definitely do because they're adding new characters. And, you know, with the fact that they finally in made, you know, the universe six counterpart, which is the twin, there is so much more development and so much more story and lore that we can get filled in from universe six that we never got. And now we can have that in Universe 7. Like, we can find out about the Namekians. We can find out, you know, the relationships that they have with the physical Saiyans. We can find out, you know, the Frieza clan, Froza, whatever. We can find more about them because they were an enigma when they came in. I mean, Frieza himself was still an enigma. King Cole was still an enigma when they, they presented their power. We still don't know much we, about him. Yeah, we, we still, still know you know, this is 20 family. some odd years, 30 some years later. We still don't know anything about these guys. Like, we really don't. We just know that they're ridiculously powerful and that they advance while they fight. And that's pretty much all we really truly know. I mean, Frieza currently right now, Frost right now. I mean, look how quickly Frost was able to develop during that short time frame. You know, that's 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 kind of ridiculous. Um, the Saiyans currently in Universe 6, I mean, literally have evolved and developed and transformed so fast without even thinking. Uh, Khalifa makes a perfect statement, though, that kind of stuck out to me about the whole Kaba situation that actually mm -hmm. made sense. And maybe Vegeta actually saw this. She states that they, uh, she has infinite potential. And it, it, is this something that the Saiyans from Universe 6 
are aware of right? because if they're aware that they have infinite potential well, but remember also, they always they always use big words like that to right 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 it, you know you know. but but if you look at it if you kind of look at it in retrospect you know from past you know saying uh, situations like even Vegeta they knew that they can only attain so much right we obviously knew that they Vegeta knew about the the super saiyan he knew about that but they yeah. never knew anything beyond that now it would be a twisty storyline if that's how they're trying to say it. Like, these guys actually know everything that's going on with the whole saying race. You know what I mean? Like, they know infinitely more than what we've been already told. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know everything that they can uncap, everything that they can reach and things like that. That'd be a cool... I think that'd be a cool way to find out how much more Vegeta can learn, even how much more Goku can actually learn because... They still don't know nothing, like everything about themselves. So maybe they, when they go there, they find out all this other information that they can do, you know? Um, and it does hint back to something that uh, Zamasu uh, stated, and it kind of is sticking out to me right now while I'm talking to you. Zamasu did state the conversations about the saying, like they, he knew a lot, He like he studied a lot about them that not even the Goku and Vegeta did know about themselves. You see what I'm saying? Which, well, he asked Zuno. And right. Zuno knows all. Right. Goku and Vegeta have never tried that. Right. And you know, on, on your point too, I also think the progression of the characters, yes, I'm not going to lie, K Akaba getting SS2 and then Khalifa maybe getting 3 or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, we haven't seen the episode as of, the, as, as of this recording, is a little annoying. But if we're going to see their progression, the only reason I could see Super giving these guys so many transformations so quickly is because we're supposed to see their progression because their progression is going to lead to something later. Right. Otherwise, it's just going right. to be an right. ass pull. It's going right. to be lazy writing. This right. has to go somewhere. So again, yeah. another clue that the Sadal arc is is inevitable. I just yeah, how they, 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 it? They, they it could be the, it could be the movie. Maybe they, it could it be, be it could be it could definitely be the movie. Like that's one thing that I I did uh did thought it would potentially be i'm hoping it's actually going to be that it doesn't have to deal with this you know same scenario that we always get in every movie where it's you know talking about goku and vegeta and and the z fighters going through this that and a third maybe retelling the whole um special or anything like that i don't want to see none of that if they do a movie i want to see like that's the first movie i want to see i want to see the same history i want to see that after so long like not not only do we deserve it, but you've been cluing it in for the last you know hundred some odd episodes that that's what's gonna Toriyama happen. Toriyama doesn't you know? even know, bro. Like Toriyama you know what I mean? Like know. you you kind of been hitting it in in your writing, and it's like come on, like give it to us, don't play. And like yeah, from said, from Battle of Gods, bro, right. the Mechian Book of Legends, all that's been the whole thing, really. Yeah, yeah. So if if they do do it, I I, I want that do, to be do. first. Yeah, if, if they if they do it, I want that to be first. I want I want the same story finally. Told Told. You know, I want to know a little bit more about Universe 6 and what it could foretell, why these guys can evolve so fast, why they can transform so fast. It has to lead to something. It's just not, oh, we're just going to let them reach to the, our current because they're related or they're the cousins of whatever it is of Universe 7. You know what I mean? Like, that doesn't make no sense. Like, no, that, just like that. writing that, that and just telling us, oh, because they can do it in 7, obviously they could do it in 6. No, that, that's not the reason. I mean, you, they can't even transform into Uzaros, for goodness sake. So there that's has right, to no be tale. more. Yeah, there has to be more. And on top of that, they, they have this berserker state. You know, like, they're tapped into emotional states way different than our current Namekian, I mean, our current sayings that we know. You see what I'm saying? So it's it's a little bit, it is different, even though it's, you know, technically kind of rushing it, per se. And I know a lot of people feel like that, like it's a rush story uh, or for them to get these powers, but it has been some time frame, and these guys don't have certain evolutionary traits that our sayings have, you know? So it's, I hope they do tell that story. I definitely do. That, that's, that's something I do want to see. Check out TR4G1C. I like saying the name, spelling it. <laughs> I will leave links down below to the channel and uh, let, let us know your thoughts. As always, we're always welcome to hearing you, everybody's thoughts on Sadal. I think that's the one arc that I think most of the fandom will appreciate because most of the fandom love Saiyans. They want to see more of them. They're super popular, and I think that's an easy way for Super to continue and to make tons of, of merchandise money and really just keep going if, if they want to keep Super going, which they will because it makes so much money already as it is. It's easy. It, 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 yeah, it's a given. Definitely a given. We'll talk to you all later.